Hey guys, this is Tom of The Verge, and we're looking at the Porsche Design Book One laptop. It's kind of a surprise for Mobile World Congress this year. Um, if you look at it right away, probably the most obvious comparison I can make is to the Surface Book. But it's a little bit different than the Surface Book. Um, at the top, we've got the, the tablet portion. It's obviously a Windows 2-in-1. We'll show you that in a minute. But it's a 13.3-inch display. So it's a little bit smaller than the Surface Book display. Um, you've also got 16 gig of RAM in here. Um, you've also got a 512 SSD and a Core i7 processor, the latest one. So KB Lake, um, seventh generation Intel processor. Um, but in terms of the actual design of the, the, the laptop, yep, it does look like a Surface Book. Everyone's going to make that obvious comparison. But really, the main difference here is, is the hinge and um, this is a really kind of unique hinge I haven't kind of seen this on any of the two in ones that I've looked at in the past um, as you can see from the actual hinge here it looks like the sort of gearbox um, that you'd have in a car like a Porsche so what this hinge really enables you to do is just be able to push the display all the way down and you can actually flip it over just like a yoga book and straight into a tablet mode. Um, and also what you'll notice is the actual hinge enables both parts of this, so the keyboard and the tablet section, to be flush. Um, and that's the same when you're using it in the laptop mode as well, and when you close it and put it in your bag. So you're not going to get that unsightly gap that you get on the Surface Book. Um, in terms of actually using the hinge for more than just the tablet mode, you can obviously just use it as a tablet. Um, and what you, you do is you just enable the little button here, and it unlocks so you can just take it off. You can't put the uh, display on like you would on the Surface Book like that, um, but you don't really need to because you've got the other hinge. Um, and then you've got the tablet mode. So you can use it as a tablet like this, um, away from the keyboard. Um, when you're using it away like this, as just a pure tablet, you're only going to get around about three hours, um, Porsche Design tell me. Um, but if you're using it docked straight in as a regular laptop, pro probably around about up to 14 hours. And then in terms of ports and features on the actual laptop, and down the side you'll notice that we don't have um, any ports here, it's just the button to release for the tablet mode. Um, but on the left hand side you've got two USB ports and a micro SD slot. And then you've also got a Type-C on the laptop section here and a Type-C on the tablet portion, which is actually a Thunderbolt one as well. Um, and the interesting part of these ports being on the laptop is they're on, they're on the, the, the very side, but they're actually at the bottom, so you, if you plug in an accessory it's not going to dangle over your keyboard like they do um, when they're up at the top on the laptops. And the same goes for the headphone jack as well. Um, you've also got a precision trackpad on here, um, which feels pretty good for navigating around Windows. Um, and Porsche designers have also added in a Windows Hello camera, so there's infrared uh, cameras at the top here, which just basically allows you to use your face to log into Windows 10. And then you've also got a stylus um, which snaps onto the right hand side of uh, the Porsche design uh, laptop. And basically this is a Wacom stylus, so it's not quite the same technology that we have in the Surface devices. Um, but you could do exactly the same sort of stuff, so you can get Windows Inc, draw around, navigate all around Windows, all that sort of stuff that you'd expect from, from the stylus. And as I say, that snaps on right to the side of the tablet there. Okay, then the obvious comparison is the Porsche Design laptop versus the Surface Book. So they do look very similar. Obviously the display on this one's just a tiny little bit smaller, but not really all that noticeable. Um, but really the, the difference I want to kind of point out is the hinge. So obviously you can both lie, lie these both flat, like so. Um, but you'll notice there's a, there's a big gap in the Surface Book hinge, um, and Porsche's been able to totally eradicate that. Um, which is something we're hoping to sort of see in the next Surface Book so that we don't see this, this massive gap in the hinge. Um, in terms of like the weight and stuff, they feel, they feel very similar in terms of weight. Um, even when you lift the tablet section off, they're, they're pretty similar. But the real, the real big difference is, is just literally being able to open these up. And you'll notice on the Surface Book, I cannot push that all the way down. And I can't flip it straight into this like yoga style mode, tablet mode. Um, whereas I'd have to like take off the display and then turn it around and then dock it like that to get the same sort of thing. So obviously there's, there's, there's um, pretty good innovation with the hinge going on here to allow us to do this mode without all of that complex uh, moving around. So I'm kind of impressed with Porsche Design's uh, Book One laptop. It's a unique uh, take on the Windows 2-in-1 thing that we've seen so many manufacturers try and attempt and get some crazy hinges and just some really ugly designs. This is really polished. Um, it feels premium, um, which there's a bunch of premium Windows laptops out there, but this one just feels really polished. It does feel a lot like the Surface Book, but it's just got those additional features. Just being able to use the hinge freely like that um, and detach it um, just like the Surface Book and stuff. It's, it's a nice laptop. Um, I'll be interested to see how it performs when we review it. The Porsche Design laptop will be available in April in the US, priced at $2,495. For more videos from Mobile World Congress, don't forget to look at youtube.com forward slash The Verge and hit subscribe.
and don't forget to subscribe. Yeah. I'll do that one a bit. <laughs> and that was a. Oh, I'm so used to doing it. Okay, I'll do it again. Okay, so the port.